Hey guys, it's Corb Ross and Mo6 News. Today we have an update on the Reputation System Beta. So we'll actually jump right to the bottom because they say here that they are delaying the full launch of the Reputation System. You might have noticed that it went a bit rogue in season one of this year and they have delayed the full launch which was scheduled for year nine, season two. Now this is a bit of an issue because there was three major features listed in the roadmap for season two. One of course was the reputation system. The other one was the marketplace full launch and a map filter. So that means there's not exactly much in the way of major features coming with season two. And of course, I don't think this is gonna show up in season three. I could easily see this getting delayed to the final season of the year. And yeah, that's not great. It's unfortunate but it definitely is a good thing to do because we did see that with year nine, season one, it went rogue and started giving everyone bad reputation. Now, for the most part, the reputation system right now is visual only. You just get this you know, rank that tells you if you're a bad or good boy, that's it. And they've actually switched off a lot of their uh, penalties for it. So they say, following the year nine, season one release, it became clear that certain aspects of the reputation system were not working as intended, and our teams gathering and analyzing player feedback while completing internal investigations, leading us to identify issues affecting the player experience. Now, I think the biggest issue with this whole reputation system is it doesn't have enough support on the back end because when you go to the reputation system in game, you'll see these bars. These bars show the user reports by other players. So that means they clicked on your name, they said report for griefing or whatever that. And of course, it doesn't matter if you have the streaming mode on or whatever that changes your name, they can just still click on that name and just report you for griefing or voice abuse or whatever. The enemy can also report you for griefing as well. And in the perfect world, it would be that none of those reports would impact your reputation unless someone behind the scenes goes back and they check the voice log or they check the chat log and they go, oh yeah, this person was doing that and that. So, you know, it's a legit report and that would then bring your reputation down because of that. But it seems like it was more likely it was dropping it down because of mass reporting. But from what we read from this report, which of course there's a link in the description below if you wanna read the whole thing, it sounds like there was a lot of stuff that was moving differently from what was planned. So one of the only penalties that was switched on was voice and written. And they say here that they found that people were receiving communication penalties at a higher rate than expected. So they made a decision to actually switch these penalties off. They also say that on consoles, there was an issue with the increased voice chat reports being visible in the reputation center. However, this wasn't actually the case and they were able to fix this in March 21st. So it was just like a UI issue or something was calculating things incorrectly behind the scenes. They've also talked about the commendation effects not working properly either. This is when you commend your own teammates or you can commend the enemy team at the end of a game. Um, my issue with this system is that for me, I just randomly hand out my commendations to my teammates and uh, move on. I don't really put much thought into it. So I wonder how good this will actually be. Because of course, it's just uh, the, the player base reporting on itself. And does that really work when you've got a player base like Siege? I don't know. And this bit here, this is quite good to read. So pause it here or go check out the blog post itself. But obviously, there's no need for me to chit chat about that. So what's next? More levers, more confidence. So I don't know if I should really use the word algorithm here, but I can't think of anything better. So let's just imagine that the levers are different changes in the algorithm for how your reputation goes up and down based on the reports and issues and whatever. My biggest issue here is they just don't seem to have anyone behind the scenes who will actually check reports to see if they're valid. Because if they could get to the point where they could figure out which players are doing good reporting, then maybe that could have more weight um, and it just feels like right now that is not really the case. It feels like all reports are being taken equally. So of course, mass reporting of players can cause issues. Yeah, so not brilliant, uh, but we'll go into the conclusion now. The reputation system will continue to retain its beta status, reflecting its current form as we continue to make improvements and collect further feedback. And our priority will be to ensure that everyone is confident in the state of the reputation system as we focus on reducing toxicity and making Siege a fun and enjoyable game for everyone. So the big issue, of course, with this is 
I can't imagine how many resources they've put into this reputation system so far, and it's still in beta. It's been in beta for so goddamn long. And of course, this is a system that's been highly requested by the player base. It's also something that was started so long ago that it wasn't even, I don't even know, I don't think it was under the last two directors that started it. I think it was like three directors ago. So it's been a very long thing that they've obviously just had to keep doing. And I hope that it gets to a point where it's good. But man, I still have the initial worries I had when it first was talked about that it might just end up being something that doesn't work correctly. It can be abused and then we have issues with. But at least they're not bringing it out into full release yet. And when they do, that'll bring in the rewards as well. So we'll have like cosmetics and stuff that will give us nice things for good stand-ins, which will be cool. You know, maybe like a unique weapon skin or something like that. But up until then, it is still kind of the, the same thing. And we've seen even just with this season that it broke. So my confidence is definitely not high. But I would love to know in the comments below what you think of this system and how it's currently going. And uh, give me your best guess. Is this going to come out this year or are we going to have this on the roadmap for next year?